name is Psycho Hunter, and welcome to another episode of Haunting of Braidwood Manor. So, I'm going to explain why the button says resume. I've tried doing this intro three freaking times. Three. Three times. This is the fourth. Because I keep on messing up on what happened last time. So, last time, when we started, we found a door, possibly hiding the secrets of what happened to the Waverly kids. The bad thing about finding the door, well, we can't get in it. We need four keys. Where are the four keys? With each of the Waverly kids. Simon, Thomas, Eleanor, and the other girl that I don't remember. I'm very sorry about that. We already have Simon's and the other girl. We need Thomas's and Eleanor's to unlock the door and possibly find out what happened at Braidwood Manor. But in our little trial, no, not trial, what's it, what, what do you call it? Uh, attempts to get each of the keys. We couldn't, well, not confronted. We were met by Eleanor and she asked us to take a walk with her. We took a walk with her to the family graveyard where she shoulders her father's grave and her mother's as well. When we mentioned her mother, she got very angry and said that her mother was not buried there. Well, the question is, why is her mother not buried in the family graveyard? What happened with her mother? Why does she have a huge hatefulness for her mother? Well. Hopefully, we'll find out right now. Behind Closed Doors As Eleanor strikes off for the manor, you hurry to follow her across the snow. Eleanor, wait! Why is your mother's grave empty? What does that mean? It doesn't matter. Just, just leave me alone. It was a mistake to bring you out here. Eleanor, please, I just want to help. Eleanor whirls on you, her fist clenched on, at her side. Ooh. Please tell us. I don't want your help, okay? Why can't you understand that? Eleanor. She hangs her head and silence passes between you. I'm sorry, H. There are some secrets I'm just not ready to share. That I'll never be ready to share. You of all people should know how that feels. Eleanor turns to leave again, but you catch her arm before she can go. Maybe I haven't told you everything. But you don't... Okay, but it's not too late to start. But you don't get to use that against me. No, it's it's not too late to start. It was it's not fair uh, for me to say she can't use that against me because we use that against her. So I'm gonna say, but it's not too late to start. We each have our own pain, Eleanor. It might help to share it. You think you know pain, H, but you don't. Not like this. Eleanor slips loose from your grasp and strides off to the steps of Braidwood Manor, without a second glance, leaving you alone in the cold. I don't know what secret Eleanor is keeping but hidden behind that locked door, but it's tearing her apart. I need to collect those keys for her sake as much as my own. I don't know if we're gonna get the keys, especially from Eleanor, because, I don't know. We shut the manor door against the biting cold and step into the foyer, finding no sign of Eleanor. Just then, Simon and Clarissa, I am so sorry, Clarissa, come hurling down the stairs, 
their faces stricken. Oh. H! There you are! What did you say to Eleanor? Oh my god, I... What did you say to Eleanor? I can't, I don't remember his name. I mean, I don't remember his voice. Uh... Why? Where is she? She went straight to her room, locked the door. I don't... I don't remember his voice. And she didn't look happy. Seems like locked doors are becoming the theme for her. H, that's not funny. Whatever you said must have really hurt her feelings. I wasn't trying to be funny, it's just... Don't you two ever wonder why Eleanor has so many rules? So many secrets? Well, sort of. She never lets us wander very far from the house. Ah, oh, man, I don't... I don't remember his voice. Oh, we we'll leave our rooms at the dark. Or ask any questions about mother or father. Why we never see any of our relatives or... All right, Simon, that's enough. We see that you're... We see what you're getting, H. Good. Then you see why I need to get Thomas's key. I need to find out what's behind that door. But even if you convince Thomas, which you won't, you still need to get Eleanor's key somehow. I'll worry about that later. Have either of you seen Thomas? No, but I hear him. He must be practicing piano in the parlor. I don't... What did I do with his voice? Eleanor was like... I don't... I don't remember it. Not a good time to disturb him. He's not very talkative at the best of times, but when he's practicing... Once I asked him to play with me when he was at the piano, and he shoved me in the pantry for five whole minutes. Holy shit. He has anger problems. I nearly starved to death. Well, that's a risk I'm willing to take. I guess, girl, I guess. Oh, man, I don't know what the hell's going on with my voice. Like, I can't... I can't really do some voices today. I don't, I'm not even sure if I'm doing Simon's right. I doubt it, but... I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, leaving Clarissa and Simon in the foyer, we enter the parlor to find Thomas playing a lovely melody on the piano. We stand quietly in the corner, waiting for him to finish. Then he hits a wrong chord, the discordant note jarring him out of the piece. Damn it! Stupid song. I'll never learn it. You awk you awkwardly clear your throat. <coughs> and Thomas turns around on the bench to face you. What do you want? Mm, hello to you too. What song is that? What does it matter? I'll never be able to play it anyway. Why not? Because it's a duet. And the only other person in this family who can play with a damn rent off to war... Oh, wait, what? The only other person in the family who can play worth a damn went off to war years ago. Oh, his dad. You mean your father? Thomas turns back towards the piano, his shoulders slumped. Yes, I mean my father. We were learning this piece when he left. And he hasn't come back. We sit beside Thomas on the bench, and he flinches away from you. What are you doing? I'm going to play the other part, Thomas. I know I'm not your father, and I probably can't play as well. But at least you'll be ready for him when he comes home. Thomas glares suspiciously at you. What is this about? What do you want from me? If you want me to talk about my feelings, you can forget it. We're not going to be friends. 
then we don't have to talk. We can just play. We turn to face the sheet music, and out of the corner of our eye, we see Thomas do the same. And with that, before we play this beautiful piece, is where we're going to end this video. Um, thank you guys for uh, sticking with me to this, because um, I, I, don't, I don't really have a good voice right now. Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of tired. I've been... So I, I've had a I've, I've been having a busy week, so I'm very surprised that I can even record. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, share this video with your guys' friends, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Haunting of Braidwood Manor. Bye, guys.